Hi guys, welcome back to Spoons and Forks. I am Eliza. Thanks to all of you who have subscribed to my channel and my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate your support. And if you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of my new videos. Today I'm going to show you my version of chicken chili. First, I'm going to marinate chicken and cornstarch and spices and we'll deep fry them. Then I'll saute bell peppers and mix chicken with a little bit of spicy and tangy sauce. It's gonna be delicious. So let's get started. Here I have some boneless chicken thighs and I cut it into small pieces, kind of like cubes but not as thick as you can see here. I'm going to marinate this chicken and the first thing that I'm using is cornstarch. Next goes in garlic powder, red chili powder and ground ginger. I'm going to combine it making sure cornstarch and the spices are mixed really well. Next goes in soy sauce and mix it well. I like to add all my ingredients one by one because that way the first ingredient has chance to blend it well before adding the second one. Here comes the salt and you can add salt according to your taste and I'm also going to add one egg. Lastly this is optional but I'm using tandoori masala. You can find this in Indian grocery stores and if you can't find them you can either use paprika or just leave it out. I like to use it because it gives that beautiful red color which I like in this dish. Now I'm going to let it marinate in the freeze for at least 30 minutes. If you have time marinate it overnight because then chicken will soak all the flavors and it will turn delicious. Now I'm ready to fry my chicken and I'm using 3 cups of vegetable oil. You can use any kind of neutral oil of your choice. The oil temperature should be between 325 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you reach that temperature, gently add your marinated chicken and fry them for about 5 minutes. Make sure you don't crowd your pan and just add few pieces at a time because too many pieces will lower the oil temperature and the chicken will become soggy and that's not what we want here. This oil is very hot so be very careful. Once the chicken is cooked, take it out from the pan and soak the excess oil in paper towel. Here I have a saucepan on high heat with 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil. Now for this part of cooking, you want to make sure that your heat is on high. Uh, we just want to quickly saute and not cook through all the vegetables which gives a beautiful texture to this dish. From here we want to move quickly. I just added 3 cups of chopped garlic and as you can see here the garlic browns pretty quick. Then I'm adding 1 cup of red onion and cook this for about 40 to 50 seconds. Then goes in green bell pepper and I cook that for about 30 to 40 seconds. And I'm repeating the same process for red bell pepper as well. The next thing that I added is orange and yellow bell pepper and look at this beautiful color, red, yellow, orange, green, it's looking so colorful, just beautiful. Add your green chilies, you can also add green chilies at the beginning with garlic that will make this dish more spicy. Cook this for about a minute or two only but make sure that the peppers are not cooked completely. Then I'm adding two and a half tablespoon of soy sauce and give it a quick mix. Next goes in one tablespoon of tomato paste and mix it well. Then I added half tablespoon of sriracha sauce and quickly mix it. Add your fried chicken and combine everything together. Here I mix two teaspoon of cornstarch with some water. And I'm adding that to make the sauce. I added about 3 teaspoons of this mixture. Just add little by little and if you need more, you can add more. Just give it a final mix and it's done. Here is the final look and it turned out delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of my new videos. If you have any suggestions for me, let me know in the comments below. I love to hear from you guys. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.